Thailand has over 200 snake species, many of which are venomous. Instead of memorizing all the different types, it would be better to identify the seven most dangerous ones. This could save your life. What to do during snake encounters? If you encounter a snake and are unsure if it is venomous, experts advise remaining calm, maintaining a safe distance, and calling for professional help through the emergency hotline 199. In case of a snake bite, try to remember the snake's characteristics for medical identification. Remain as still as possible to prevent venom spread and immediately call the emergency medical services at 1669 or contact the nearest hospital. The average length of a monocled cobra is 150 centimeters. The monocled cobras have an O-shaped mark on their hoods and they have two black spots on their throats. The body color of these snakes varies from black, brown, gray, olive, yellow, and any combination of them. They have pale sand-colored bellies. The juveniles generally have dark coloration. However, it gradually fades to a pale shade as they grow older. Extended neck ribs allow dramatic hood expansion when threatened. The snake is able to spit venom. They primarily hunt by night and are frequently seen both in rural fields and urban settlements. Their adaptability to human environments makes encounters increasingly common in residential areas. Thailand's king cobra is a dwarf compared to other cobra species, averaging three to four meters in length with exceptional specimens reaching five to six meters. The species displays golden iris round eyes and a distinctively large rounded head. Regional color variations occur throughout Thailand with specimens appearing in black, grayish green and brown. The belly ranges from yellow to nearly white, while throat areas show reddish orange coloration. Despite their fearsome reputation, king cobras remain generally non-aggressive except during mating seasons or when guarding eggs. When threatened, they rear their front section, expand their narrower hood, expose fangs and emit loud hissing sounds. These diurnal hunters occasionally appear at night, preferring forest habitats near water sources. The banded crate displays unmistakable alternating black and yellow crossbands encircling its triangular body. Its broad, flattened head blends seamlessly with the neck, while black eyes contrast with distinctive yellow arrowhead markings on an otherwise black head. Yellow coloration extends to lips, lores, chin and throat areas. The relatively short tail measures approximately one-tenth of total body length. These snakes inhabit forests and agricultural areas, often occupying termite mounds and rodent burrows near water sources. They frequently establish territories close to human settlements, particularly in open countryside generally shy and non-aggressive during daylight hours, banded crates become significantly more active after dark. Also known as the blue crate, the Malayan crate lacks the distinct triangular body shape of its banded relative. The body features alternating black and white bands, sometimes blue, with the first cross band connecting to the dark head coloration. Some specimens display black flecked white scales, while others show pale yellowish white bands alternating with black. The white belly lacks the dark banding that extends to the underside in banded crates. These ground dwelling serpents prefer areas near water sources with high humidity levels. Common throughout much of Thailand, they possess extremely potent neurotoxic venom and remain active primarily at night. The white-lipped pit viper displays bright yellowish-green coloration. 
The relatively robust body features a distinctly triangular head and noticeably thicker torso compared to the neck region. Lip margins and chin typically appear yellow, white or lighter green than the main body colour. The tail tip shows reddish brown coloration, while males often display white lines across outer body scales from neck to tail. Known for aggressive temperament, these vipers strike readily when disturbed. They inhabit wood piles, plant pots and grass clumps, hunting at night both in trees and on ground level. Common in gardens and residential areas near water sources. The Malayan pit viper exhibits reddish brown or greyish brown body coloration with dark brown triangular patterns bordered in white running along both sides. These triangular points meet at a brown line following the spine. The dark brown head features light brown or white lines extending from the nose tip across the upper eye border to the upper jaw. The pointed snout curves slightly upward and vertical pupils characterize the eyes. Active during twilight and night hours, particularly in high humidity conditions following rainfall, these vipers inhabit sandy areas with leaf litter and wood debris for camouflage. Their coloration and patterns provide excellent environmental camouflage. This species maintains a reputation for bad temper and lightning fast strikes. The Eastern Russell's viper, also known as the Siamese Russell's viper, displays greyish brown dorsal coloration with small spots between larger spot rows. These robust short-bodied serpents with abbreviated tails coil and produce cat-like hissing or tire deflating sounds when disturbed. They can strike with remarkable speed even while maintaining coiled positions. The triangular head bears distinctive black arrow-like markings while small ridged scales cover the body. Long venom fangs deliver potent toxins. These vipers prefer dry plains, hillsides, sandy soil areas and earth burrows or rock crevices. They hunt exclusively during nighttime hours. Always be careful if you see a snake. Many people are afraid of snakes, but remember that many aren't even venomous. Leave snakes alone or contact a qualified professional if you see a snake in your home.